Hey folks, Rob here. And what we have out here on the old bench today is a sleeping bag. And this is going to be, this is Macy's. Pick this up for her. This is a ZT Tenley uh, sleeping bag. And this is a, uh, a down sleeping bag. So we're going to take a look at it here real quick and uh, check it out. And this one is rated uh, Comfort 32. Uh, its limit is 20 and you're at risk at below, you know, 10, 11 degrees. So comfort rating 32 on this bag. And uh, 20 degree, you'll, you'll be cold, but you'll survive. And at 11 or below, you're at risk of hypothermia. So not a super cold weather bag, but uh, Macy's not super cold blooded like Sheila is. So uh, it's not such a big issue with her. Uh, I haven't taken this out of the package yet or even looked at it. We've had this for a day or two, a little bit, and I just haven't had gotten around to do, to take a look at it yet. Um, I was going to do my first camping trip tonight, but uh, I have training coming up for the next two days, so uh, I guess it's going to be maybe Saturday. Uh, no, actually Saturday we have a, our Easter dinner, so maybe Saturday evening, Sunday. Uh, I'm going to try to make it out sometime this weekend, at least for one night. So inside your bag, you've got a nice lightweight stuff sack. Uh, you have the sleeping bag itself. Got a nice filling material. Uh, oh, you have a, a laundry bag or something in it. I guess that's to store it in when you're not, you don't need to compress it. Because a down sleeping bag, you don't really need to store it compressed. If you do, it loses, it, it, it's not good for the bag uh, to leave it long-term stored like that. Uh, down needs to be fluffed up and, and you know, it needs to maintain its loft in order to stay, you know, comfortable. Uh, it damages it. After time, anything that stays compressed long enough, it's a little windy out here. And, uh, if you want to get your bag out, fluff it up, let the loft come back to it, and uh, let it. so this is a got a, a a hood on it, and it does have a drawstring in your hood. You have a Velcro closure here. Got a nice beefy zipper, and this is a SBS zipper. I don't know, but it does seem to be quite smooth. Inside your bag, it's very nicely lined. You have a oh, you have a big neck uh, baffle here that actually has quite a bit of filling in it, and you have an inside zipper pocket, which is pretty nice. So you have your inside zipper pocket, so you can store quite a bit of stuff in your pocket there in the side. Uh, man, there's not a lot I can say about a sleeping bag. Uh, other than you have to try them out, but this one is definitely seems to be well made. It does have the design down here where you can open the foot box if you get too hot. You can open up this foot box and you can actually open it up into a comforter, but you can open your foot box for ventilation and uh, you can open it up fully for a comforter. Now this is a hand wash, wash at or below 40 Celsius. Do not bleach, dry flat. Do not iron, do not dry clean. And it's flammable, keep away from uh, fire. So anyway, that's just uh, common sense there. So anyway, you got your three-way zipper there. All the zippers look good. Uh, it does come apart here similar to the other bag that I got for Sheila. Now, my search for a lightweight sleeping bag has been a little uh, more difficult. Uh, we're trying to get things a little lighter so it's not so much trouble to pack everything. I have a plus size extra extra large sleeping bag, but the thing weighs about 12 pounds. I mean, it's a, it's a hoss cat. You know, the sleeping bag like this doesn't weigh that much. It's, 
this is a, a nice lightweight bag. Uh, it's not stores down into a nice tight uh, uh, fit there, you know. If you, especially if you're gonna go uh, do any kind of backpacking, which uh, guys, I'm hoping to get into. You know, I'm uh, 59 years old, and I've camped all my life, uh, usually car camping and stuff like that. But uh, here lately, I've been thinking, you know, I'm not getting any younger, and the things I wanted to do, I just haven't done. And backpacking and kind of wild camping is something that it has interested me. I've, I've watched hundreds of videos on hiking the AP and all these trails and, you know, often thought about what it would be like to do that. Uh, something like that is not, not, oh, that's coming back good. That loft is really, that's going to be a lofty bag when it gets uh, lofted back up. But anyway, something like that is not really feasible for me. Uh, I have to work and I just can't afford to take off for six months and start off on a hike that I probably couldn't finish anyway because I'm not in very good physical condition. That's another thing. I'm hoping this will get me outdoors more and... Uh, help me to get myself into a better physical state but uh and getting your family involved is a good way to get uh get you motivated you know and uh, that's what i'm hoping to do here is to get everybody motivated to just want to give you a look at uh, macy's new sleeping bag i think she's really gonna like this uh she hasn't really seen it yet uh she knows i was getting her some stuff and you know she's 14 she's not it's hard to get her motivated for anything but I think once she finds out how much fun we're going to have, she'll be into it. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'm going to leave a link to this in the uh, in the video uh, to the Amazon store. I do have my affiliates back. So if you click on them, uh, uh, if you, whether you buy this or you just click on something else and do your normal shopping, you know, it's uh, going to contribute back a few pennies to the channel. And, uh, you know, every little bit helps. When I had my last Amazon store, before they closed me down, I think I made 81 cents. But, you know, that's 81 cents I didn't have. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Till the next video, we'll see you later.